He has repeatedly tested negative for the coronavirus, but tonight the U.S. vice president is self-isolating on the advice of White House medical experts. Mike Pence is expected at the White House tomorrow, but will limit his contact with other people. All of it just days after Katie Miller, Pence's press secretary, tested positive for the coronavirus, underlining it's made it into the White House grounds. Indeed, three senior White House advisors on coronavirus, among them key scientist Dr. Anthony Fauci, will this week work from home, self-quarantining. Afterward, they'd also been in contact with someone at the White House who's tested positive. It is scary to go to work. You know, Kevin Hassett, a senior advisor to Donald to Trump, today underlined that as America reopens, it's the kind of circumstance the country will have to deal with. This is a very, very scary virus, you know, that, that people are going to go back to work and they're going to be worried about things. Indeed, the Trump administration continues to promote the reopening of the U.S. economy broadly. But tonight, Trump himself is reportedly annoyed that word of the virus now within the White House will hurt his messaging on the economy. Meanwhile, Trump's general approach to the pandemic came under fire this weekend from his predecessor, with leaked audio of Barack Obama in a group phone call criticizing Trump's response as, quote, anemic and spotty. It has been an absolute chaotic disaster. Trump replied to that, as he does, in a tweet, slamming Obama and Joe Biden for their response to the swine flu pandemic a decade ago. Poor marks. Didn't have a clue, wrote Trump. The White House calls Trump's response to the COVID crisis unprecedented. Paul Hunter, CBC News, Washington.